Talk, Episode Nine. Now I, now I'm, now I'm losing track. I don't do them enough, and my memory. Will, whew, let me get some of this in there. We just jam a little bit, a little, a little, uh, not even Kmart level. If you know about Magic Mart, it's Magic Mart level discount diet David Gilmore attempts so, there, you know. Let's talk. I'm going to be mean. I have uh, come to the acceptance that maybe the online guitar community might need somebody to unfortunately Fill the role of a heel. I don't know if there's any baby faces out there, to be honest. But an actual... <sighs> there's already heels that are shields that are out there, but I guess I'm going to have to be the shields heel. So... You know, what really gets me is all of the content that gets pushed. Uh, and honestly, it just doesn't seem like... I don't know what some of these brands are thinking. You, you would think you would at least try to find adequate, interesting, creative musicians to push your product. Not just faces, talking heads. And hell, if that was the case, <laughs> the ones you all have selected. <laughs> Man, there's only a few people out there worth a damn, worth listening to. Big Uncle Larry, Tom Bukovac, one of them. There's some things me and Big Unc don't see eye to eye on, but for the most part, he's going to steer you right. He's going to tell you everything that's just honest about it, not bullshit pussyfoot around on you. He's going to tell you to fucking play your guitar. Just play the motherfucker. How about that? How about you play your fucking guitar? Quit looking for shortcuts, anything like that. Just do you want it or not? Do you want to strive and push for anything or not? At least in things you got control over. Now, shit, there's no use swinging at a rigged system. Being a crazy, stubborn, hermit hillbilly like me over here, just making content that goes into the void because of the YouTube algorithm and because you want to talk about some real shit and be authentic. I mean, hell, that's... <sighs> I'm trying to play nice. As nice, well, as nice as I can. Oh, but why be nice when you're at enmity with the world? Enmity of the enemy. Hold on a second. Let me do some. Let me let me do the YouTube pose. Fucking penalty Masonic fuck faces. How about that? How about them apples? All right, let's get back to talking about playing. So why why did any of us pick up the guitar? I guess I just am gonna love music for however whatever the spans of my days are. And I think it goes in two directions. I think you have authentic music lovers that either just want to be total con consumers of music, which is... That puts the other group in business, that of people that love music but want to have access to create it, for me, and I'm sure plenty of people have said this, 
literally there are ideas, sounds that I just sometimes I'm compelled through what means I have. I mean, I'm going straight into my little tube. Uh, for most of the videos, I, I put my Mesa back up. I, I haven't, I only use that Mesa a little bit, but I, I do love my rectum fryer. I've got the TD752. Oh, easy. Had to take my cool guy shades off real quick. Yes. TD752 ES Tube Works Tube Driver Head. A 90 staple. A, uh, Apparently, you know, the BK Butler stuff. I know the pedal game, his, those products are really nice. I think I get some cool. Did you pick up a guitar? I think I touched on that earlier. I started rambling. I got mean for a second. Now I'm feeling better playing guitar. <laughs> All them boys, I just, they don't get enough love, they don't, good old Bouchard Brothers, rest in peace Alan Weiner, Eric Bloom, stun guitar man, what a cool, what a genius, I, I don't know if that was like their, the Perlman influence or anything like that, but just what a genius phrase, term. Stun guitar, and it makes sense. Like, you know, if you have multiple members that are multi instrumented, things like that, but you know, for the vocal, it, I don't know. I just cool concept. I'm gonna start going off on a tangent. I should prepare more things to, even if I'm gonna be mean, I should prepare more things to expound upon. But yeah, I don't know. I just get jaded with. Most of the stuff you see online on YouTube that's prevalent, that's marketed, um, it's mostly assholes that don't know what they're talking about, or they're not really that creative, or they barely have chops. To be honest, I mean, it's just, I, I really crave for either the total, complete, utter collapse and degradation of society, or for it to pendulum swift back towards where roles and occupations are occupied by the adequate <laughs> just in general just in anything because in my workplace in in most things you have great incompetence and selfishness in leadership positions It's all a game. It's all a farce. I mean, there's hope. There's faith. I mean, there's... Don't get me wrong. Oh, why is it covered in stuff now? Got projects going or outside the grab. What? Ooh. I'm not sure what project was. No. Nothing that's ready yet. I'll make some shorts about that when I do. We are at 11 minutes. <laughs>
like to see a lot of these guitar influencers just be raw and unplugged like that and actually I want to I want to hear their voice on the instrument because a lot of the stuff that you see I'm sure that the the week three weeks in between the content they upload they've set and rehearsed the parts that they're going to show off and feign as if it's just second nature here's the thing the real ones we can see through the bullshit the ones that can actually play and it's just utterly It gives me total disdain for the products that are pushed by those people that and I don't care what anybody thinks it doesn't come from any sense of oh you just want to be in that position yourself well, yeah, I mean, I would like to do it, but at the same time, one of the first adult jobs I had, I worked for five years for Guitar Center and got to experience a lot of just ins and outs of the music industry on that level. You know, I was a key holder. I, and again, I wasn't like a regional manager or anything, but I got to see how they behaved, people that were responsible for the instrument market and just the gross negligence there and... My store that I was a part of, we got store of the year, so it's not like we were running any kind of slouch outfit either. I just, it's it's all just the buddy buddy system network, who you know, and world class bullshitters that are just selfish and deflect, and they just they ask you for your. That's why I live on about $24,000 a year and not once yet have you really seen me come on here and be like, hey, I've got a PayPal link. I, I think I have a Patreon thing. I just don't know how to, you know, what's the point? I'm giving you all the content here. I'm not going to try to bullshit you or offer you anything. And as far as playing goes, I could show you licks that I do and things like that. But here's the main thing. You need to go listen to the music you like. You need to interact with your instrument and just apply the time. Don't be lazy. Don't be stupid. Don't look for fucking shortcuts. And figure out what you want to do or why you're doing it. For me, it's just more of a process of I love music. I've got to get these sounds out. Whether anybody hears them or not. But at the same time, I, I've done this long enough and I've, com I've compared footnotes to a lot of things and a lot of people to where, I mean, I'm not, my content ain't too shabby though, so don't get that fucking twisted. I just hate fucking fake bullshit people. God. Just lazy, incompetent, selfish. I don't like this world that we're in. I don't like the way it's going. There's no true sense of honor. Oh, but then you gotta fight that whole urge to, you don't want to dump fuel on the fire, but you don't want to feed it, but you don't want to get burned either. I mean, we all get burned. If you're born, you're getting fucking burned, let me tell you. I don't know, what are we doing with our time and all of this? I don't have any real aspirations to own a home or any land for 
some entity entity to tell me that I have to pay money for it and if for some reason the funds aren't available then it, they're gonna take it back like what do you really own except your voice and your thoughts and your abilities I'll tell you one thing I thank God Jesus every day Jesus who is God God in flesh, Jesus. I thank him every day for the abilities he did give me. Because I might be at the bottom rung of whatever this fucked up prince of the power of the air society we're in. But buddy, I'm a lot more well equipped than most of you I see. Go with Jesus or go to hell.